it's V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'm going to be going over my indie perfume collection with you guys. I have some full bottle sizes, I have some smaller travel sizes, and I keep the most of my perfume oils in what is a tea box from Amazon. And I just keep them in there for the smaller perfume oils. And then it actually has a little drawer here. But first, I wanted to go over the full-size ones. I keep these with all of my full-size perfume bottles in a separate cabinet. Uh, I'm planning to do an updated video of that, so stay tuned. Uh, all of these larger ones are from Sacre Bay. Sacre Bay is a woman-owned and operated company from the U.S., and they have, hands down, the best Facebook group with some of the best, most caring and wonderful women and men, and it's just such a great environment. If you're looking for a new Facebook group to join, I never see any negativity in it. It's just everyone being very supportive of one another, and of course, sharing their love for perfume oils. So here we have, this is part of the Black Heart collection and I have Broken Heart. Uh, Broken Heart is Nougat, Vanilla, Tonka, Vanilla and Marshmallows. I love marshmallow notes, sweet notes, violets, <laughs> chocolate, and I think you're gonna see a theme across all of them with uh, a lot of marshmallow from everything. <laughs> and so, um, and I love these beautiful, like the, the drawing and the beautiful simple bottles with this kind of wood cap here. Um, from the Black Heart collection, I also have Bleeding Heart. Uh, it's champagne and strawberries absolutely gorgeous gourmand fragrance. I So I'm, I'm going to link down below some of the videos I did. I go more in depth with I think almost all of these in some video. So I, if you want to you know go more in depth with something I'll link those all down below. Um, and then I have here Black Heart. This is a salted dark chocolate with caramel and a touch of whiskey. Definitely a darker scent. I have these three here, and I'm probably gonna mispronounce a couple of these, but there is Orberos, and Orberos is a, it's got green notes, anise, peppermint, and tobacco. There is a Codius, and this is like the medical um, kind of symbol here that they have, and this is honeycomb, elderberry, oud, wood, and patchouli, and I also have an Alchemist. And Alchemist is tobacco with toffee, caramels, old book smell with like candle wax, very unique scent. Um, I apologize if some of the scents I mention are discontinued. Some uh, of, from a whole bunch of different houses, uh, perfume houses that I have here have been discontinued. Um, you can sometimes find it on different marketplaces and sometimes scents come back. So if there's a scent everyone wants, sometimes if people, you know, make enough noise the scent I've seen has come back um, so I am gonna go over these ones here too these are all Sacre Bay uh, for, uh, scents I should mention just full disclosure these were sent to me for my honest review and I have given that in um, the previous videos some of these in here have been purchased uh, by myself some have been given to me but overall I feel so lucky that I was able to experience all of these larger size ones. Uh, for myself, I have such a large collection that I find I usually buy the smaller vials myself just because um, anything that's the smallest size I always try to go for uh, just because I have so many fragrances and I like wearing different ones every day. <laughs> so we have here Quicksilver. This is a pumpkin incense and peppercorn scent and these are all, I'm going to try to open it Oh, I'm so weak. I can't do it with one hand. So I just want to show you these are roller balls. Um, the interesting thing is I actually prefer travel sprays a lot of times. However, when it comes to perfume oils, I really like roller balls. I feel like the liquid almost seems like a little thicker and I like the way it applies with a roller ball. So that's Quicksilver. Um, I have one of the uh, holiday ones here and I have some other ones in here. This is Kr Krampus and it's vanilla and nutmeg and probably one of my favorite holiday ones. I love all the designs on the Sucker Bay uh, fragrances, whether it's the full size bottle or these you know, roller balls or even some of the smaller ones. We have here Lodestone. Uh, Lodestone is chocolate peppermint fudge with fig. I have Bezoar. 
probably mispronouncing this for. This is marzipan, caramel woods and spices. I have here aqua vitae. I love vitae, aqua something life, what life water? I'm not sure. Um, I love this scent here. It is fresh key limes with coconut cream and a touch of linen or something kind of clean and fresh smelling. Really like that one there. We have here Philosopher's Stone, Pumpkin Spice Incense, and Peppercorn. Oh, wait, did I say? Oh, no, that's Quicksilver. Sorry. I always get, <laughs> I always get Quicksilver and Philosopher's Stone mixed up. I, for some reason, I don't know. I think it's just the way that they look. I'm always like reaching for the wrong one. And I'm like, I want to smell like pop, uh, pumpkin. And then I reach for one and I'm always like, why does this smell so different all of a sudden? Did like my nose go weird? And then I realize I just messed up the names. So, Philosopher's Stone is mocha cherries and wormwood. Uh, then we have here uh, Arcinium and uh, Crucible. Let's put some of these back. Uh, one of the great things on Sucker Bay's website is that they kind of give stories and the way they describe all their scents is amazing some of them are just they're so enchanting to read so you could spend hours on their website just reading all the scents I'm, i don't think i'm doing it justice on describing some of these i like to keep some little scent strips here for sampling out fragrances i know i'm obsessed and some more of their holiday collection this is perchette Prochetta, prochetta. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that one. I apologize. Um, we have here uh, Gorilla, uh, Bell Snickel, Bell Snickel. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and fu Fouette. This is like where I just mispronounce everything. Then we have here um, Toxic Masculinity. Uh, ruins the party again. Love the marketing for this one here. Uh, this has lavender, vanilla, honey, and like a touch, oops, a touch of a floral aldehyde. Very interesting scent. And we have here, uh, this one is, I come from a long line of terrifying women. <laughs> Love the name. And this has a uh, rose, whiskey, amber, a touch of gunpowder, and tobacco and i'm not usually a fan of tobacco in fragrances but in this it just it makes you feel powerful when you wear that scent um, and then these ones here are part of the onyx reserve luxury line they these four are the vanilla geology collection uh it's kind of hard to see the names sometimes let me see if i can have to yeah this is a groat um Aquatic, uh, aquatic Cave. It's an Oriental ch Chypre fragrance. We have here um, a Coffer or Treasure. It's a treasure chest. Spicy Gourmand with cinnamon and tobacco. This one here is see if I can sell noir which is black salt a woody aquatic sandalwood with vanilla all of these have vanilla as a note it's like you know it's part based off vanilla and this one also has salt uh love the names and this one here is uh nuance de lumière which is means shades of light an aromatic fougère with lavender so that's all of these kind of travels. And these are kind of like a drop. These have a dropper in them. So they're a little bit different, which I kind of like. Different uh, way of getting the fragrance. And I'm just going to stop for a second and then start showing you some of this stuff here. Okay, so I have my camera propped up like by like a hairline fragrance on this little like empty Kleenex box so I'm probably gonna knock it over at some point. <laughs> so here um, I actually have this set up mostly kind of like in themes of like different lines and companies as well. I kind of tried to keep them separate that way because it's kind of hard to see what they are. Uh, let me know down below what you do if you have like a lot of perfume oils. Do you end up putting something on the top to kind of differentiate which one is which? Um, I would love to hear some suggestions. So I'm just gonna start with this one. This is from House of Glory. Um, House of Glory 
Gloit uh, has both bath and body products. They're, they have their own website and they are based in Oregon. And they had this, I don't know if they still do this, but they had this ability to custom blend a perfume oil and you get to choose four um, notes. So I did lychee, violet, marshmallow, and vanilla bean. And let me tell you, I am in not going to be becoming a perfumer anytime soon. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't pick the best ones. Uh, I love Violet Marshmallow and Vanilla Bean, but I think the lychee there just didn't um, sit with me, so I, I don't really wear my personalized fragrance that often, and here it is. Kind of a cute concept, though. I'm tempted to try out some other scent combinations. Um, then we have here, I do have more House of Gloy, but I'm just going to go through kind of in a order. I have my Solstice Scents ones here. Uh, let's see if I can solstice sense. So solstice sense, um, they have their own website. I have on the left there, violet mallow, which is basically violet vanilla and musk. Absolutely love it. Then I have a nightgown. I don't know. I looked online and it wasn't available right now. A lot of these fragrances, like I said, some might be discontinued. Some might just be out of season. A lot of time I find that indie perfume houses, they bring back fragrances. So, you know, if there's something that you like, just keep a note of it. It might come back. Uh, anyways, nightgown is vanilla, white chocolate, tuberose, and tiara flower. And then we have Snowmint Mallow here. And Snowmint Mallow is vanilla, coconut, peppermint, and marshmallow. Like I said, you are going to see a theme of a lot of uh, marshmallow <laughs> notes. Um, now, so here we have House of Gloy ones. And, uh, oh, I, okay, so let's take a look at some of these here. Okay, so we have Spring Rain, which has basically got a rain note Pink Lotus, Sweet Pea, Lily of the Valley, and Musk. Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry about that. I'll try to make sure it stays focused. Oh, let's see if I can. So we have, I just want to save that one for the end if I can. I wanted to find, oh, I had some idea of an order of doing these, but I don't think that's going to work now. I have here Cozy Sweater by House of Gloy. This is one of their best-selling perfume oils on their site. It is Musk, Amber, Incense, and Vanilla. And a lot of other scents they have, like they have uh, based off of Cozy Sweater, is for instance like marshmallow, Cozy Marshmallow for instance. So they have a lot of cozy type fragrances. This is probably one of the only perfume oils that I actually repurchased. Um, I love this marshmallow note here. It's basically like the Cozy Sweater but with marshmallow in it. We have here a Lily Cakes. This is a cake um, I think it's got, yeah, Lily of the Valley and Ginger for Lily Cakes. Uh, we have here Candy Corn, self-explanatory. I really love Halloween. I love Halloween notes. I love Halloween fragrances, <laughs> inspired fragrances. So I have a lot of those in my collection. This is Splendiferous, which is cake, lemon, and sugared violets. Um, this is Osa. I actually don't remember what one that one is, to be honest. Some of the smaller samples I haven't smelt for a while. Ghost Puffs. It's popcorn marshmallow on a wooden stick. A very popular scent. I've been told this was discontinued in the past and then it actually came back and I was able to get it. So maybe they'll bring it back again. Um, this here is First Blush. Vanilla, Tea, Lavender, and Peach. Um, egg Noggin, another scent I love. You will see more eggnog later on. Just, I just love collecting eggnogs inspired fragrances. I have here two more small sample sets, Lucky Cat and the uh, Blood Orange Marshmallow. And last House of Glow is Caramel Apple Pop. I really like uh, the marshmallow note in House of Glow. And uh, I have here, those are all of the ones from there that I have. Let's see if I can try to organize this at the same time. Moving to, let's just try some of uh, this one here. So this is Marshmallow by Wicked Good. I actually got a, for a friend, a bacon smelling one from Wicked Good. They used to be on Etsy. Now they have their own website. Um, once again, obsessed with marshmallow, self-explanatory. 
<laughs> then I have here uh, skin. I think these are skin like butter. Yes, this site is on um, Etsy and they have bath and body products. They're based in California. I have here, let's see which one, pistachio macaroon and marshmallow. <laughs> I was clearly obsessed with marshmallow for a while, I think, and I still am. <laughs> and then I have, this is a huge little, and I've given away uh, some of the, you know, perfume oils I have. If a friend really likes one and I'm not wearing it that much, I have given them away to friends. So I actually had a lot more of these from Skin Like Butter. Um, I'll link my videos down below where I review some of these things, but they have this option where they kind of have one note or kind of two note fragrances. And I just got a ton of these samples. So I have Violet, Raspberry Vanilla, love that one, uh, Mango. I also have Watermelon. Ooh, there's so many. Blueberry, white tea. I do like the white tea. Uh, avocado. I honestly don't really like the scent of avocado as much as I like to eat them. <laughs> Creme brulee. Let's see what else I have. Almond, pina colada, and cherry almond. And those are my skin-like butter scents. And then I have... Um, these are from Sacre Bay. These are the fruit tree collection. I'll just bring them all out, make it a little easier. Sacre Bay does fruit scents really, really well. And you can, from their fruit tree collection, it just, each one, whatever the name is, it just smells ripe and juicy like it's in the bottle. Uh, and I will like with the other ones, link that one down below for you guys. So from their fruit collection, we have a K tree. I can never pronounce that. I just, I'm so bad. Passion fruit. Um, we have here the pear tree. Really like that one. And strawberry. I have raspberry and peach. And I also have apricot. And I think I prefer the apricot one to the peach one. And then I always, I really like raspberry notes in fragrances as well elderberry uh mango love that and i'm sure you could like layer some of these like i have mango and i have coconut you know so coconut palm you could like one thing what i really like is that with perfume oils you can kind of layer sometimes if it's just like blueberry you can find like a vanilla scent and layer it with that lime tree and my last two are juniper berry and fig tree and those are all Sacre Bay scents. Continuing on, I have more Sacre Bay scents here. They're pretty, uh, these are their drink or holiday collection with a couple extra ones. And so we have absinthe. I didn't think I would like absinthe notes in fragrances, but it's actually a very unique scent. And every now and then I kind of feel like having that one. I'll save those ones because they're part of a different collection. Um, I have here Irish cream. This smells so much like an Irish cream coffee, like beyond anything, like you just had a delicious thick and creamy Irish cream coffee with some liqueur in it and some whipped cream or something and just delicious smelling. I love gourmand scents, obviously. Hot cocoa. Uh, oh, this is part of this one. I should, I'm just gonna leave that one for that. Eggnog. I did say I love eggnog scents. There's something about like the creamy nutmeg kind of cinnamon scent that I love in eggnog. And this is mulled wine and amaretto. Out of all of them, I think amaretto is my favorite. I love that kind of almondy drink note from amaretto. Love that one. And then we have what was my, well, I actually, this is probably one of my all time favorite uh, scents from this like whole collection, it's Sansa. It's by um, Sacre Bay, and I always think that it has almond in it, but I don't think it does. It actually, I just got this like almond note from it, but it's, you got buttercream frosting, real vanilla, and lemon, and it's like a lemon cookie. It's just, it's so delicious smelling, I love it. And then we have here, Bloody Murder Strawberry Milkshake. Love the marketing, love creamy uh, gourmand scents as well so here we go put those ones back then we have okay let's do let me just take a look here i think i have yep so i have these small ones here 
from um, Sucker Bay as well. And they have these really small sample sizes now, which I think are great if you just want to try out just as many scents as possible. This is a fist pump, fist bump, sorry, vanilla bourbon with woods. Um, this is Dad Bod. Love the names. It's like uh, a musky, mandarin, woodsy, animalistic scent. Um, uh, shark Punch. Can't remember Shark Punch, unfortunately. Then we have uh, Mangrunt. Uh, this Amber Woods and Patchouli from Mangrunt. Yeah, so these are kind of the small, not more in there, small ones. I love that size. I think it's so cool. Then we have some Alchemia fragrances. And Alchemia is a US company with sales on Etsy as well as their own website now. And I've gotten a number of theirs. There's Lumine, and this is basically like a creamy illuminated skin scent. I don't think I have the notes for this one. Let me know. I think this was one of the ones where you're supposed to guess the notes. If you know what they are, comment down below. <laughs> um, then we have here uh, Calliope. And Calliope is vanilla, musk, orchid, sugar, and cotton candy. Uh, and one scent that I think I want to explore a lot of is also cotton candy. I love that scent. Um, this is Temptation. Oops, there's some dust here. Okay, that I swear I dust stuff and I feel like I'm always dusting. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Like I'll use things and it's just always got something on it. Anyways, uh, Temptation is Violet Macaroons with White Chocolate Ganache and super creamy and it's got the rollerball. So one of the things with perfume oils I find is that the more you let them sit, sometimes the fragrance to me just sm smells more like in depth and creamier. And so I find a lot of times, sometimes I get the scent right away and I love it. And other times I let it sit for a few weeks and then it just, the scent just like becomes like, I just end up loving it more. So I have here two more from Alchemia. Okay, so I have uh, Incantation Vanille, Vanilla, sorry, which is Leather, Vanilla, and Tonka. And then this one here is missing the label, and it's got dust all over it, so sorry about that. But it's Irresistible, and it's basically French Macaroon, Almond, and Vanilla. So those are my Alchemia fragrances, and I like the option that you can do rollerball or kind of the dabbing type of bottle. Um, now, lastly, we have more Sacre Bay in here. This, these are the, um, the rose. Let me just check here. Yeah, the, these are the Steel Rose, the self-aware fairy tale collection. And if you want to read some great short stories, each one of these has a fantastic, great story, like kind of story behind it. So you can just read the whole kind of enchanting tale on the Sacre Bay site. Absolutely love it. There is Briere Rose, yes, which is based off of Aurora, Sleeping Beauty. It's got some lavender in there. We have Black Rose, which is based off of Snow White. I can't remember the notes in that one. Then we have here, uh, steel rose, incense patchouli. We have here blood rose, honey and rose. So they're all kind of rose centered uh, fragrances. And we have black rose. Sorry, I thought, did I already? We do have, do I have two? I have two black roses. I did not realize that. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I did not realize that. Two black roses, uh, both based off of Snow White. And then I have here um, Glass Rose, which I think was based on Cinderella. I could be mistaken. Uh, musk with Neroli and Orange Blossom. Uh, the, out of, like, I'm not the biggest fan of Orange Blossom in anything, so I'm. that's probably one that I, I don't really reach for. Oh, this one is not part of this collection. Belong somewhere else. While I'm doing this, I can... <laughs> Blood Rose. Uh, has honey and rose. I think I have already one of those. Flame rose. Flame rose is smoke, leather, and cedar. Very like a dark scent. Uh, and then lastly, we have two other ones here. We have Afterglow, which isn't part of that collection. And then Byzantine, which I think is it, this is black tea with a burnt sugar, old leather bound book scent. I just love reading the descriptions. 
I think I put Byzantine in here because it's kind of like the other ones are kind of like a fairy tale story, so it kind of matches. Maybe I should put uh, maybe I should put Sansa in that s selection in that group too. So this is basically my um, indie perfume collection. It's great sharing it with you guys. Let me know down below what you didn't see here. If there's any scents you think I should check out or other indie perfume companies that you think I should check out. I really love reading all of your comments. It means a lot to me. And if you like my video, please like and subscribe.